Hey, welcome back. A few weeks ago, I made a video on Microsoft Defender Application Guard, and some of you reached out asking, how do I do that enterprise manage mode in Microsoft Endpoint Manager and get that set up? So I want to make a quick video to show you exactly how to do that. So let's take a look. I will post a link in the video description for the official documentation on how to do this, but it's pretty easy. From within Microsoft Endpoint Manager, click on Endpoint Security, then click on Attack Surface Reduction, then create a new policy using Windows 10 as your platform and App and Browser Isolation as your profile. Now I've already done this, and let me show you what I created here. Under Configuration Settings, I have Application Guard enabled. Now there's a reason why I have it enabled for isolated Windows environments and Edge, because I'll do a video later this week on using this for Office, so more on that. This is where I block, copy, and paste. You can see I've got some other things configured. But if you scroll down, I have Windows Network Isolation Policy enabled. And then under Cloud Resources, I added the domain of my SharePoint site. And if, I, if this is a real enterprise environment, I have a lot more than just that. I have to separate it with a pipe value. Um, if I may have some internal network stuff as well uh, that I want to add a comma separated list for. So there's a lot of documentation out there on how to do that, but that's how you configure it. So once you hit review and save, it'll get pushed out to the endpoint. And if we just go take a look at my uh, lab machine here, here I am on uh, the SharePoint site. And as you can see up there, there's the domain. Now, if I go to open up something that's not on that list, like let's say CNN.com, you're gonna see the application guard is gonna get spun up. There it is. And it's now going to load CNN.com in that uh, virtualized browsing sandboxed environment. And if I just look down here in the taskbar, you can see it's using application guard because of the icon for Edge has a little shield on it. And so that's using application card. And then I could also click on this icon. I can see that it's using application card there. So that's how I enable this folks using endpoint manager. Just it's in, under endpoint security, attack surface reduction, app and browser isolation. And this is where you go to enable it. Okay, if you found value, give me a thumbs up. If you didn't, that's okay too. Hit, be sure to hit subscribe because I have a lot more videos coming and we'll see you all in the next video. Take care.